I was very young when I started playing music. I was two years old, and, uh, and I was three years old when I started writing music. And music was surrounding me because the family, my family was very musical, and we listened to lots of music, but my parents loved jazz. So I was surrounded by classical music, by jazz music, by Azari music, and um, jazz was very important mainly for my mother. And probably when I was four, five, I went to, I don't remember exact age, but I think I was very, very young when I went to a concert of Louis Armstrong. He came to Azerbaijan because that's where I grew up. And that's when I first heard him. And also jazz was very popular in Azerbaijan. And as you know, uh, probably uh, one of um, very known uh, jazz musicians from Azerbaijan, Bagib Mustafa Zadeh, brought Mugam and jazz together. So he basically created new styles. So jazz was like huge. We always had the jazz festivals, jazz concert. I did not come into playing to jazz till later, but I was surrounded by this music all my life, yes. Piano found me when I was two years old or even earlier. It's very hard for myself to imagine to be without piano. I don't know what else could that be. Um, and composition is my instrument because I write the music. Somebody wrote once in one of the articles that my instrument is my sextet. I think it's a very good expression because I love writing for sextet. Um, let's say I don't know if I would even think about what could I play if not piano, because this is my biggest love in life. But let's say if I would have time, and maybe I can find somewhere time still, I would love to learn to play the bass. I love bass. And I do play little drums, not much. I wish I could do it better. Um, but that's probably my primer. I love bass. That when people ask me where I'm from, I say from planet Earth. So that's how I feel. And I feel very comfortable in many places. Um, Azerbaijan is where I grew up, and um, that's my native country. Uh, but when I moved to the Netherlands, I felt very much at home because of the mentality. Uh, Dutch are very open and they're very curious and they're biggest travelers. Um, when I went to start at Berkeley, I really, really loved the mentality among the musicians. Very, very hard on themselves, very demanding, very striving for the perfect which, again, I found myself home there. Um, that's why it's very hard for me to even separate those places. That's why I always think this planet is really um, for everyone, right? I grew up as a classical musician because that's when I first uh, started. Uh, when I was six, I went to this uh, school that's called a uh, school named uh, after Bulbul, uh, a very famous singer, and does, this is a school for uh, most talented, gifted uh, uh, young musicians. So um, it's, a, it's a very serious school. So I grew up really into, um, really looking into the classical career. And very much at the beginning, when I was just playing classical, didn't play jazz. For me, jazz was like, I loved it, I've listened to that, but it was a foreign language that I didn't know how to speak. Once I start playing jazz, I decided to move away from classical music for a minute. And that minute maybe last two years, three years. And then I start performing classical music again, and jazz music again, and then you start discovering that it's music. It's, there are no borders, actually. Um, at the end of the day, music is... So more you grow into general, you know, I into what you do, you start understanding that music is music. So I don't like to put the borders. Um, and 
and many musicians doing it today, many great musicians, if you listen to Herbie, Hancock, or uh, Chikoria, or Kish Jarrett, or Brad Meldo, you hear how they fuse the styles sometimes within one piece. Uh, one of my favorite examples is uh, Herbie Hancock on his uh, CD called Gershwin Project. He plays a classical concerto where he improvises through. I, start, um, I started uh, Septet actually in a uh, long time ago, in 98 I think. Because uh, when I was studying jazz um, and when I was listening before that, I really loved big bands. I loved the massive sound of the big band, the arrangements, the opportunities. But um, as a piano player uh, in a big band, you have a very different role than a saxophone player, the trumpet player. Because um, piano players, to start with, our charts are like 25 pages. And we sit and read all these 25 pages. And at the end of the day, we might have such a little solo. And before you know, it's gone. And you feel like, oh my god, the song is gone. So in such a huge band, we have tiny, tiny little role. And I, d I thought, like, how to uh, have the same impact, but then smaller, something that I can have a little space for myself and all the musicians. So I came up with the idea of septet. So it was at the time, piano, bass, drums. Uh, flute, trumpet, alto, and tenor saxophones. And so I was thinking big band in my head and writing for septet. <coughs> and that was in the Netherlands. And with the time, some musicians changed. And then at a certain point, I decided to go to sextet because I was looking into some more transparency. And after I moved to New York, um, my whole band changed. So I did not play with the same people for 20 years. So this story I really have to tell, for sure here in Istanbul. Um, many years ago when I was studying in the Conservatory of Rotterdam, I was uh, doing a studio project at conservatory. We were all students and we got very short time at the studio. So I've decided to bring my student project and uh, it was myself uh, on piano I sang and there was bass drums and trumpet player and the trumpet player was from Istanbul I'm sorry but I don't remember his name he was student by the time the day came for the studio and my Turkish trumpet player did not come to the studio he disappeared I don't know what happened uh, but somebody told me if you want really somebody really fast that can play all the trumpet parts there's a great flute player he reads amazing and I called this flute player he came in the studio and he never left me so I have to thank a uh, trumpet player from Istanbul whose name I don't remember <laughs> But th that's the story. That's how I met with my husband. And the funny thing is that when he started playing, I could recognize the sound that I've heard in Herbie Hancock's and uh, Chikoria's band. I fell in love with his sound. And I have to say, since then, we have very, um, we have a lot in common, but also we have very um, uh, uh, much a, a separated uh, um, tasks because I write music, I arrange everything. My husband, he does the management, so we always make a joke that he's the business director and I'm the music director.